Hello students, how are you doing? I am your instructor, Professor Nimit Chaudhary from Indian Institute of Tourism and Travel Management. We are discussing important issues pertinent to destination management. We bring this course to you as a part of e Shala initiative of the Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India to make postgraduate education accessible to all. As a destination leader, we would like to attract visitors to our place but our competitors are also putting in their might to get visitors to their destinations. It is therefore important for us to understand what will attract visitors to our destination. How can we become more competitive? We will begin by revisiting the concept of a tourist destination and then we try to define the term destination competitiveness and attractiveness. We will spend some time evaluating the link between the two. A large part of our discussion in this module will be about measuring the destination attractiveness and competitiveness. A destination as per the new Shorter Oxford Dictionary is defined as the place to which a person or thing is going, the intended end of a journey. However, when we apply to the tourism context, authors have offered different perspectives of what constitutes a tourism destination. For example, Dimitrios defined destinations as places that offer an amalgamation of tourism products and services which are consumed under a brand name of the destination. He argues that they are well-defined geographical regions, understood by visitors as unique entities with a core of six main provisions, that is, attractions, accessibility, available packages, activity and ancillary services. Other definitions have also been proposed by Yang Zhu and Ritchie, wherein authors have also mentioned about the six main provisions including above mentioned. The World Tourism Organization has defined destination as a physical space in which visitors spend at least one night and is made up of tourism products such as support services and attractions and tourism resources with physical and administrative boundaries that define its management image perceptions of the market competitiveness. A tourist destination is basically a travel destination that attracts large number of travelers or tourists. Travelers may visit these destinations to see historical sites, natural sites, buildings or culture. Some tourist attractions also have activities such as rides or games or usual newness or originality. Souvenirs are often sold at these destinations and many of the tourist destinations or the local people rely on the income generated by the travelers who visit. Though we have discussed some of these earlier also, it would be in place to revisit the basic elements of the tourist destination. First, the attractions. Attractions are generally the focus of visitors' attention and provide the initial motivation for the tourist to visit the destination. These can be categorized as natural, that is beaches, lakes, rivers, mountains, parks, weather, built, that is historical buildings such as forts, heritage monuments, religious buildings, conference, sports facilities and entertainment facilities or cultural that is museum, art galleries, cultural or traditional events. These could be in the public area such as a nature park, culture or historical sites or could be community attractions and services such as culture, heritage or lifestyle. Other than these tangible factors such as uniqueness, attractiveness, emotional or experiential factors are also attracting tourists to the destinations. Second, the amenities. These are the elaborative range of services and facilities which support the visitors stay and include basic infrastructure such as utilities, public transport and roads as well as direct services for visitors such as accommodation, visitor information centers, recreation facilities, escorts, guides, operators, catering and shopping facilities. Third, the accessibility. The destination should be accessible or reachable to a large population base via roads, air services, railways or cruise ships. Visitors should always also be able to move with relative ease and comfort within the destination. 
visa requirements, ports of entries, specific entry conditions and tourist permits should be considered as part of the accessibility of the destination. Fourth, the image. A unique character or appealing image is crucial in attracting visitors to a destination. It is not enough to have a good range of attractions and amenities if potential visitors are not aware of them. Various methods can be used to promote the destination's image or positioning. For example, marketing, branding, travel media, e-marketing, digital marketing and viral marketing. The image of the tourist destination includes uniqueness, sites, scenes, environmental quality, safety, service levels and the friendliness of the people. Fifth is the pricing. Pricing is an important aspect of the destination's competition with other destinations. Price factors relate to the cost of transport to and from the destination as well as the cost on the ground of accommodation, food and beverages, attractions, facilities, special escorting and guiding services. A tourist decision may also be based on other economic features such as currency exchange, etc. Sixth is the human resource. Interaction with the local communities is an important aspect of a tourism experience. A well-trained tourism workforce and local people who are equipped and aware of the benefits and responsibilities associated with the tourism growth are inseparable elements of tourism destination delivery and need to be managed in accordance with the destination strategy. Students, let us now dwell on the definitions of destination attractiveness and competitiveness. The attractiveness of a destination reflects the feeling and opinion of its visitors about the destination's perceived ability to satisfy their needs. The more a destination is able to meet the needs of the tourist, the more it is perceived to be attractive and the more the destination is likely to be chosen. Jarvis defined attractiveness as the perceived ability of the destination to deliver individual benefits. This ability is enhanced by the attributes of the destination like those components that make up a destination. This is a demand side perspective of the destination. The importance of these attributes help people to evaluate the attractiveness of a destination and make relevant choices. The attractiveness of a tourist destination encourages people to visit and spend time at the destination. Therefore, the major value of destination attractiveness is the pulling effect it has on the tourist. Without the attractiveness, tourism doesn't exist and there could be little or no need for tourist facilities and services. It is only when people are attracted to their destination that facilities and services follow. A destination, on the other hand, can be said to be competitive if its market share measured by visitor number and financial returns are increasing. This approach supports the widely held view that competitiveness should be linked to high visitor numbers and increasing destination's income. Kim defines destination competitiveness as the ability of a destination to deliver goods and services that perform better than other destinations on those aspects of the tourism experience considered being important by the tourists. Dimitrios defines competitiveness as the effort and achievement of long-term profitability above the average of the particular industry within which they operate as well as above alternative investment opportunities in other industries. Hassan defines competitiveness concerns as the destination's ability to create and integrate value-added products that sustain its resources while maintaining market position relative to the competitor. According to Ritchie, competitiveness is the ability to increase tourism expenditure to increasingly attract visitors while providing them with satisfying, memorable experiences and to do so in a profitable way, while enhancing the well-being of the destination's residents and preserving the natural capital of the destination for future generations. Pierce defines destination competitiveness as the techniques and methods that can be used to analyze and compare the diverse attributes of the destination in the context 
of planning. The evaluation of the major destination components can provide a better understanding of the competitiveness of such destinations. Competitiveness in tourism destination has also been discussed from an environmental perspective. The need for destination to promote a different product is more critical than ever as each destination tries to offer the best services and facilities and almost every country as a destination offers unique culture and heritage. For many tourists, a destination trip choice is associated with lifestyle indicator and the places they choose to spend their most valuable time and hard-earned income must have emotional appeal, high conversational capital and even celebrity value. And Hold states that destinations must need to ask not only this that how can we attract our tourists but also that how their tourists can reach to them. Destinations should not be branded like products because of their complex nature, feature or characteristics. Still when it comes to destination branding, there is almost no difference between product branding and destination branding process. Except the destination branding process is more complex than product branding process. Students, let us now try to understand the link between destination attractiveness and competitiveness. One of the main aims of tourism planning and development is to create more valuable tourism products and services for potential or current tourists so that destinations and their communities receive social and economic benefit. But there is a need for a clearer understanding of the ability of the tourism destination to compete effectively in an increasingly saturated market. Competitiveness and attractiveness view destinations from two different perspectives. One from the tourist's perspective that is attractiveness and other from the destination's perspective that is competitiveness. This dual analysis provides a holistic perspective of the tourist's destination competitiveness and attractiveness also called TDCA dynamics. Tourist destination competitiveness and attractiveness is defined as the ability of the destination to provide social, physical, cultural and economic benefits to the destination, local people as well as giving a satisfying experience to the tourists. The studies of destination attractiveness have centered on the needs of the tourist and what attracts them to various destinations while those on destination competitiveness have focused on the ability of the organizations to produce products that are accepted internationally. These two concepts have not been analyzed together and empirically tested. The proposed model is shown in the graphic on your screen. The TDCA model proposes that destination supply factors and tourist demand factors help in creating an environment in which tourism flourishes and can be consumed satisfactorily. The destination experience environment is proposed to be positively related to and as the most important factor in determining TDCA, enhanced by availability of attractions and mix of activities or supporting factors. Reputation, branding and the trip cost are proposed to moderate relationship. Further, in order to be internationally competitive, destinations need to be innovative means something unique need to be incorporated. Destination needs to ensure that whatever they offer to their customers is best and superior to the offer by its alternative destination. Competitiveness should come along with the attractiveness of the destination. To understand all these factors, major variables are shown on the graphic on your screen now. Students, it is often said, what cannot be measured cannot be improved. Destinations would like to improve their competitiveness and therefore they must be able to measure a destination's competitiveness. In the graphic now on your screen, the boxes tourism policy, planning and development and destination management are grouped within a larger box. Moreover, tourism planning and policy development is linked to the box destination management. 
This clearly indicates that while tourism policies set a framework within which a competitive destination can be developed, on the long term, destination management deals with its various factors in the short horizon. In order to ensure economic profitability and avoiding degradation of the elements that form the competitive position of a destination. The one directional arrow from this larger box indicates that it can influence both the conditioning and supporting factors and the availability and quality of general infrastructures. It can play an important role in the management of the core resources and also influence the availability and quality of tourism services. The elements, core resources and key attractors, tourism policy, planning and development and destination management derive from Ritchie and Crouch's model. These two together are under the label supporting factors and resources. Two subcomponents as hospitality and infrastructure. In this model, they are regarded as separate factors from conditioning and supporting factors. Many authors underline the importance of these components, considering them as separate primary elements. Moreover, the model explicitly recognizes the demand factor as a fundamental determinant. We should also be able to measure destination attractiveness. Measuring destination attractiveness involves the actual nature of existing destination resources and attractions perception of tourists about the destination resources and attractions. An integration of these two is quite important to measure the attractiveness of a destination. Destination attributes can be classified into two major categories. The first one includes natural endowments of the destination such as climate, natural resources, cultural and historic attributes. The second one includes man-made developments introduced particularly for tourists such as accommodation, food and beverage, catering, transport, activities, entertainment, etc. The primary purpose of tourist visit is to enjoy the local endowments and maximize their satisfaction. However, the second category of attributes is necessary to reinforce the attractiveness of the destination. The perception combining all these factors which is latent in nature determines tourist decision making to a large extent. Tourist choice of destinations, expectations from the destinations, revisits, spending amount, duration of stay and several others depend on destination's attractiveness. Since tourists intention are always to maximize total utility combining tangible and non-tangible destinations with higher attractiveness should be able to larger number of tourists and in turn should receive larger spending in the destination. Therefore, for destination stakeholders, it is important to measure or understand the attractiveness of the destination of which they are the stakeholders via we, the competitor destinations. Though normally the stakeholders do have an idea about how a destination is rated by the tourist, an organized way of measuring and comparing attractiveness across destination will enable them to identify and overcome the shortcomings as well as to enhance different attributes that determines attractiveness in the tourist's mind. The graphic now on your screen shows the determinants for destination attractiveness. As per this figure, following are the seven significant determinants of attractiveness. One the geographical proximity. In simple terms, the geographical proximity can be summed up as how easy is it for tourists to get to the destination. Geographical proximity includes the travel time, travel convenience, etc. 2. The cultural proximity. Destinations that are close may not be culturally close. A more distant destination with closer cultural ties may be more attractive and this may outweigh Concerns about ease of access. Cultural proximity includes language, religion, customs, and food, among others. 3. The destination image. Destination image is related to destination selection, intention, and tourist satisfaction. 
as such image refers to the perception of the tourist at a destination and these correspond to the perceived contribution of the different tourist services available and consequently the destination experience. 4. The destination's infrastructure. Destination infrastructure relates to the underlying services which facilitate which are available at the destination. Tourism infrastructure is the basis of tourism development and utilization of existing destination resources. Tourism infrastructure includes a large number of services necessary to meet the needs of tourists and increase satisfaction during their stay at the destination. 5. The destination's environment. It includes climate, tourism attractions, facilities, services, which lead to the formation of overall tourist destination environment. Six, the risk and reward. Risk and reward is one of the most difficult areas when consumers want to compare destinations on the basis of outcome, safety, track record, guarantee, etc. And finally, the seventh, which is the price. Price is one of the most crucial determinants. Cost of travel, cost of stay, cost of services, cost of travel insurance, etc. directly reflects the image of a destination in the minds of the tourist. The students, when you have an, once you have an idea of destination competitiveness and attractiveness, the next step is to identify competitors and tracking the competitive environment as a key for destination attractiveness and competitiveness. The question is, how will you know whether your destination is performing well and whether your destination management organization is competing effectively for the largest possible share of the market? You have to compare your destination with relevant competitor destinations and track their strategies to gauge and to ensure that you stay ahead of the pack. Step 1 is to knowing who your competitors are. While it could be argued that all tourism destinations compete for a slice of the global tourism market, there can be certain areas on which you have to compare and these could include similar source markets, similar products and experiences, similar target market segments, similar distance from key source markets, similar growth performance in the source market and similar peak tourism seasons. Next step is finding competitor intelligence. Effective competitor evaluation and benchmarking requires valid and reliable information and knowledge of the competitors. There is often a perception that a tourism intelligence and knowledge is extremely expensive and difficult to find and extract. Some information is costly and conducting your own primary research can become very expensive. This is mostly suited for large DMOs with substantial budgets. However, the internet has made it possible for DMOs to obtain extremely valuable market and competitor research free of charge or at a very limited cost. The last step is to benchmark against the competitors. Benchmarking is an essential element of measuring your destination's progress and performance. Such comparison and measurement could fulfill various objectives. For example, tra tracking your own performance over the time, especially before and after the strategic interventions, campaigns, comparing your destination's performance against other destinations and especially your competitors, justifying and demonstrating the application of public resources, evaluating whether your tourism strategy is working, and how well you have done in achieving your targets. Some typical measurements used for benchmarking purposes include the following. The numbers and spend of tourists at a particular time. The market share of key resource markets. The annual average percentage growth compared to competitors. The accommodation capacity growth and occupancy rates. Keeping an eye on your key rivals is crucial element of crafting a destination strategy. However, other aspects could also have a major influence on the ability of a destination to continue competing in a highly competitive environment. These are summarized on the graphics now on your screen. 
Students, this is all for now. Today we have discussed two key concepts, destination attractiveness and destination competitiveness. The attractiveness of a destination reflects the feelings and opinions of the visitors about the destination's perceived ability to satisfy their needs. The more a destination is able to meet the needs of the tourist, the more it is perceived to be attractive and the more the destination is likely to be chosen. In tourism context, the concept of competitiveness has been applied to different settings. Various authors have linked competitiveness to economics, marketing and strategic perspectives, price, quality and satisfaction. A destination can be said to be competitive if its market share measured by visitor numbers and financial returns are increasing. This approach supports a widely held view that competitiveness should be linked to high visitor numbers and increasing destination income. We will take up another issues in the next module. Thank you.